Let's look at how to upload PowerPoint to YouTube. What this is going to entail is recording your PowerPoint slides, putting some narration, maybe some video, and then exporting your PowerPoint as a video and uploading that video into YouTube. So let's rock and roll. Here I have some slides. In this case, it's just a template, some boilerplate that I'm using to emphasize the process. Now, if the slides are comprehensive and all I want to do is have a slideshow on YouTube that plays the slides without any kind of voiceover or video or intervention on my part, then first thing what I'll do is go to transitions and I'll apply a setting for advancing the slides. I'll advance them automatically after a few seconds, let the audience have some time to read the slides and then go to the next one. And this way I can calculate exactly how long my video will be with five slides. And if I have a five second transition, that'll be about half a minute for my presentation. The other thing I can do is go over to slideshow and I can record my slideshow. You can record from the current slide or just record from the beginning. Now I have another video that talks about the various settings and features of recording the narration. In this case, I want to go to settings and I want to check that I have my microphone and that's all I want to do. So now I'm going to record my slides. It'll count me down and then that time I want to take my breath. I'll start talking through. Now my tip is that before you advance the slide, you want to take a break from speaking. And then you can speak once the presentation is on the next slide. And that's because PowerPoint doesn't play the narration during the slide transition. So there's going to be a second or half a second where there's going to be a pause in speaking if you speak right over the transition. So I can talk through my other slides. I can make annotations on the slide if I want to. If I had notes, I'd be able to read the notes. And when I'm done, I can click stop. If I want to keep recording and pick up where I left off, I can select the record button again. I can replay it or I can exit out. And now the interesting thing, if I hop back over to transitions, you'll notice that the slide is set to advance automatically based on how much time I spent speaking for each slide. If I want to make any edits to the slides, the timing, for example, I can do that in the slideshow menu. If I'm good, then I can go ahead and save that. I'm going to save it as a copy, but in this case, I'm going to save it as an MPEG-4 video file, an MP4, instead of a slideshow. So I'll go ahead and save it. And then I can browse and see the video file in my folders. Now what I'm going to do is I'll hop over to YouTube and I can create a video or post, upload the video since I've already created the MP4 file. And I can either select the files and browse for it, or I can drag it and drop it. Here I can make the changes to the title and the description. You can choose one of the thumbnails that they generate based on content on the video, or you can upload your own. Click next to add your video elements as well as your visibility. You can even schedule when you want your video to be published. And then you'll be able to see the video on your channel. You can go in and make other edits if you'd like at any time. And this is how you upload PowerPoint to YouTube.